Hello everybody. In this screencast, we're going to look at high level overview of Firebase. So Firebase is this uh, app development platform, right? That helps you grow and build apps and games that users love. This is what they are writing here. But I will tell you from my experience, this is a really amazing product. It's a product where you could um, forget about the back end and focus more on the client side, meaning developing your app. So basically they offer you authentication out of the box, meaning uh, uh, email and password authentication or uh, uh, login using uh, Google uh, login, you lo login using other platforms. In addition to that, uh, they provide you with a lot of other services and you can look at all their products. Like for example, when you look at build, it will show you, I go up here and it shows you there are so many products that they provide real time databases, um cloud functions which are like remote apis that you can create authentication cloud messaging also they have hosting cloud storage where you can actually store files and so on and many many other um, uh, features that they provide uh, we are going to use it uh, to the to integrate it in mobile applications it's not limited to mobile apps it's also can be used in desktop apps in web applications in many kind of uh, other uh, apps um, we look at it it's basically uh, what i recommend is that don't use a dot edu uh, account to create an account just create an account using your at gmail.com uh, to avoid any issues after you create the account uh, a Google account, you need a Google account. I go to firebase.google.com and then I click on console, go to console. And then the console will show you the apps that you already have. Let me click on add a new project and you create a project. I'll call it, for example, uh, Firebase uh, demo app or something, right? Continue and continue. And you can select an account that you have or uh, you can create another account. I think I do have an account. So let me create an account here. I'll call it for example uh, Firebase Demo. This is your Google Analytics account. Save that. I accept create the project. So now it's going to create my project and now once you have the project created then you have to go into the project and set up what do you want activated? What do you want to actually that project project to have? So let me uh, show you what are the uh, the products that we're going to use and we go from there. So it takes a little bit of time finishing up, but once it's done, I'll have my project. Mm -hmm. So usually in this course, we are going to create one Firebase app and then we're going to use it for uh, the project that we're going to create. So here it is. Here is the project. If you look at the left side here, there is build, let's say authentication. And now it asks you authentication, let's say get started. And I want to uh, activate email and password authentication so i get started and here is email and password this is all the forms of authentication that are possible here let's say i want email and password and i just click on enable and that should enable save and now that enabled so email and password authentication is enabled so when i click on authentication again you see here sign in method and this is already enabled the email and password perfect all right so let's say i want to have a database so i can go to firebase database and I can also do the same thing, create a database. All right. And it will create a database for me. It will ask me about the location. These are different locations that they exist in. I'll just use, keep it as uh, NAM5, whatever, uh, just whatever the default is for the time being. And I will uh, start it in test mode because I'm uh, going to develop and so on and create. And basically that creates also a database. So basically now I created a database that I'm going to use in my app. In addition, I also create uh, enabled authentication. Here we are. So here is the uh, database. We'll look at it in more detail and then authentication. You just click, click, click. The system has, and then there are so many other features that you can add. You can add uh, remote configuration, which is a, 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 a database customized mainly for configurations. Uh, machine learning functions that you can include, cloud functions, hosting, file storage and so on and this is new also they always add new stuff as we go all right so we'll look at this in more detail uh, in in the next videos please let me know if you have any questions thank you